Alright, welcome back. More buses. There's another transient bus on the street shooting up the place. Another dude. Although these side missions are just single buses, which aren't nearly as bad. Though they are going to be surrounded by mobs of enemies. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be jumping onto them. Get the shard. And, and they're going to be aware of your presence from the very beginning, too. But even that's not much of a problem. As long as you can just actually get up. There's still one particular ability that would make all this so much easier. I am currently lacking. It's the very next one I get to, so... Oh, God! Oh, come on! Well, you got to see my ass kicked right from the get-go. Well, this time I'm actually going to be going, like, right for them from the very beginning, if I can find myself to be physically capable of that. I need to see more connections between these buildings, so I can get across them better. The cat is at the door. Playing with a ball. Man, this guy's going fast, too. And he stopped. Why is he stopped? Oh, crap. Thank you. Okay, so uh, now we're about to get killed, but we got the mission done. It's pretty short, dude. Can you? Thank you. The war on 52%. Okay, I'm seeing electrical things all around you, Cole. Absorb them. Become one with them. Be become one with the trash can, Cole. He did become one of the trash can. That's not some experience, too. Ah, so close. That sounds fun, but I actually kind of want to get back to the neon. So let's do that. Neon is a place that I like being in, and having control of. Also a bit easier, because these side missions are actually unlocked quite a while ago. Just haven't been doing them, because I've been doing mainly story missions. I feel like I am, I'm pretty sure I am going to have a ton of side mission full episodes right before uh, the final mission. Because I'm going to want to have them all done. Well, that was pointless. Because this is kind of a 100% run, except I'm not going to be doing, uh... Say hi to some Reapers. Holy crap. Thank you for breaking physics, Cole. I was going for a uh, blasting bolt, but whatever. Actually, let's just go with whatever we can find. Drug runners. We can unlock a med the clinic too. The detect whatever algorithm or whatever is used to detect which med clinic you should be dropped off at when you die is messed up. Please. Got to chase them down and get my supplies back. I'm pushing you. Holy crap. Hey. Hi, dude. Oh, 
Like, leave me alone. I have other enemies to tend to. You only need to do like a certain amount of damage to them before they drop it, apparently. So, um... I guess I like I just ran right up here. I'm thankful. I mean, how helpful. Well, I am thankful. <laughs> oh, those cars, they are flying. Okay. There we go. Some missions are so much easier and so much more simple. It's very refreshing. So much shorter, too. And they feel a lot more rewarding, because I actually get plenty of experience from it, and I don't have my ass covered by enemies as much. Or how many shards I have? Shards. I can ha I know I can have a good deal more battery force than this. Oh no! <laughs> the style. Fifty-one percent complete. Man, I have the one more complete in this place. Medic clinic. Induction or photography. Photographer is fun. Probably a lot more fun if you're evil, actually. Oh, it's Conduit! Yeah, Conduit appears here. Not always. Conduit appears here sometimes. Although, that Conduit seems to always, like, appear and then, like, disappear right afterwards and just not appear again. It's weird. Like, all the time... Yeah, I'm not gonna be seeing the Conduit that just disappeared again. I don't know why he does that. And yes, I did memorize, like, where the conduits spawn. Actually, that conduit spawns there, uh, even if you... Well, yeah, I do have the area cleared. Uh, if you have the area cleared, then there are specified spawn points that enemies will have. That may be true even if you don't have the area cleared, but... I've memorized some of them. Particularly the ones with conduits, reaper conduits, because, uh, you can get a, uh, stunt, a very difficult stunt off a Reaper Conduit involves taking them down with a, uh, crash, whatever it's called. Thunder Drop, yeah, Thunder Drop, that's what it's called. Oh, it has to well, can I punch them first? Yeah, keep it up, just need a few more picks. Sometimes they'll take the picture, like, just right, so that they have a pole blocking it or something. It's really funny. Do-do-do-do-do. You want an odd place to have me run to, but I can't just have, like, spawn right next to me. Awesome! Just need a couple more pictures! I wonder if the, uh... I wonder if you got blades to count as a melee for that. There are more enemies, of course. Well, the car, that's something I got hurting pedestrians. And also, if the photographer gets killed, you actually, you actually lose, which is something that can happen. Dude, if I were to just shockwave this entire group of people, you have no idea how much karma I would lose. Okay, you can stop making the sound. Yeah, keep it up. 
just need a few more picks. Stop saying the same thing. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, I'm being blown up. Darn, I wish that actually had me in the angle. Or me in the shot. And I feel like I'm just about to get crushed. Oh, you can actually see this. Uh, I am mumbling. You can see a speedometer. I do think I'm about to be crushed. Something sounds. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, I managed to survive. Anyways, next one. Abduction. And we are blazing through these, and I like it. Ah! Yet, like, two hundred experience from each of these, so I'll be able to get it after this. Look, the reapers are pulling people right off the street. Conduits. Look at that conduit feed of one shot. That is a good thing. That's a very good thing. Very nice. Not pretty well. Okay, you got hard experience for each side mission. Not much, but it's not like you put much time into them. You get like six hard experience for side mi for a story mission. Oh, Reaper. And I can restrain you. I like you. I don't know why I adore conduits so much. The Reaper conduits, that is. I just really, really do. Spot games, time for that. Okay. Fully charged and ready to go. I hate when uh, side missions make you go like throughout the entire city. You just end in a completely different place. Not really sure why that is, because I don't necessarily. Well, because if I was going to like do it on the on my darn it way to a, a story mission, then it would end up okay. What the hell? Uh, wasting my time when I'd have to run back over to it. Okay, this is troublesome. Thank you. that works for the Reapers is coming. See what he's up to. I salute you. You salute me. Oh god, I hate this. I absolutely hate these missions. That's not that much of a problem, not being seen, but... Well, kind of. It's not terrible, though. I can hardly tell which enemy is the courier. Paul courier is ex yeah, that's the annoying part. It's actually keeping up with him, not being not spotted. Uh, for him to not be escaping anymore, he has to actually be on your camera. He's not escaping. He's right there. He's right through here, dude. He, I just saw him. I hate these missions so much. This field of vision doesn't really help you or anything. The only thing it helps you with is that you can tell who the courier is. The courier is actually a uh, kamikaze. Also, no, uh, notably, m dynamic objects do not count as uh, 
cover. So if I were standing behind that, uh, dumpster, he'd be able to see me through it. Crap. I wasn't trying to wrap around. It was Cole who did it. <laughs> but really. It's annoying, when, particularly annoying when involuntary things are what make you fail. He's not escaping, I know where he is. You have to keep him on screen at almost all, for pretty much all times. No, he's not. Just the gen general mechanics of how it works are under pain. It's how they end, though, that makes it work. Makes it horrible. <laughs> Crap. Sometimes you can get away with things like that without him seeing you. Just keep him on the camera, because that's actually that seems to be what makes it count for him getting away. Which, while making sense, is just annoying, because you can know where he is. Like Ian see him on your mini map, but I'll still say he's escaping. Also, I'm pretty sure you're not actually allowed to... I'm not sure whether you're allowed to kill him right after this, either. Oh yeah, and a word with blast shards. I'm not sure if you're allowed to kill him before picking up the package or not. I don't think... I don't know. Well. Wow. Nice guy. You only know, pay attention to the design of the, uh... Kamikazes. So, may I? Yes, I may. Nice. That's a very good thing to have. Uh, time for Officer Down. Getting side missions done a lot more now. I very much like that. I wish I'd devote more time to doing side missions, but... I, I kind of could do like half and half, but I have a feeling I'd be along at too sluggish a pace then. I know, I know, I'm still doing the same things. Which should amount to pretty much the same playtime, but... Makes a difference for viewing. No cutscene or anything. Kick him isn't gonna do much for you. This doesn't look good. I mean, this doesn't look good, dude. You can deal with much worse than this. This is just a Reaper kicking a police officer. You deal with supernaturals. This guy seems to be unarmed, and guys with RPGs and uh, robots coming out of their backs. Oh, if you're here, it'd probably be a good idea to try to avoid hitting the- Damn it! Police officers. As I was saying. There you go. What? How? That- That shot off police officers because he got electrocuted and fell into the water? Really? I hate puddles. 62%. Oh, lots of random side missions all of a sudden. Wow, oh, poison. I'd rather do uh, dark water, actually. Yes, hello. Police officers 
generally just stand around, not really doing much in this game for some reason. Crap. They don't actually like actively fight Reapers or actually they kind of do active actively fight Reapers, but they suck at it. For one. Don't see much of enemies fighting each other or just other just NPCs fighting each other in general in this game. Yeah, you do. The Reapers have dumped poison into our water supply. Screw the icy blast yard. Oh no no no! Oh god, I'm bouncing. Oh god, I'm in. Oh, that is just. Leave me alone for a minute. Hey, off the RPGs for a moment. There you go. I'm satisfied now. Bring on the RPGs. God. Reach over there. Oh, I got this dead drop. I don't know how you have the dead drops I have in this place. Oh, come on, stop. Okay, me? I need to aim better. Just in general, I need to aim better. You know, I've said so many times before. I think, am I getting back like one? Battery core per hit, because that's really good. And the upgrades to your staring bolt are incredibly worth it. Why do you even set that up up there? Okay. Time to lose a battery core to or three. And I I'm a bit under, so I'm gonna either look for another another game from Sasha this time. So I guess I'm going to look for a dead drop. to finish this off. Or I could do another side mission. Either works. And we're still right next to that mobile poison one. And another spy game, so nice. I'd much prefer mobile poison. I think I saw one of those Reaper trucks over there. You should go destroy it. Man, I'm covered in black. Dude, that's a pristine car. I don't see many of those in this place. These are actually higher than the uh, bus missions, because aha. Well, you may all just go, like to just attack the bus. You're actually going to have to deal with enemies. Why you do it? Actually, just attacking the boss is a lot harder than just run running up to it and go going on top and uh, disabling, disabling it completely. Alright. It seems to kind of like regrow its posse too, which is kind of annoying. Mainly nuisance when you stay behind to take down a mob, just to find out that 
more of them just appeared. Come on. Oh god, they got... They get far away, too. Look at that. Got a new conduit, too, I think. It may not have gotten a new conduit, I think it may have been one. My first went there and just didn't go after it for some reason. But either way... There you go. Oh, hey, I actually got right back at you. That's a hard one. Conduit. Damn it. Where's that bus? As I see going to various other areas, you'll run some more uh, natural spawns, I guess would be the right word, too. Those conduits do respawn. It's actually really good for experience finding, I guess. But, god, is it annoying. You manage to actually just, like, stay up to it, though. They won't keep spawning next to it. Okay. So that will be finishing up my recording for tonight, and thus for this week. Uh-oh. Yeah. And what your viewing will be for this week. Presumably, unless I, for some reason, decide something new like I did with JSRF uh, earlier this uh, last week. So, being done dealing with these guys... Oh god! Wow, they kind of brought that upon themselves. Man, still hurts like hell. Here with Max Resist. Okay. So. I'm kind of wanting to run, find someone to heal now. Because I think I lost some karma. And I'm going to pick up that bus shard while I'm saying my goodbyes. Thanks, I was worried. Okay then. Alright. So I'm going to pick that up, save once again, and say, since you have time one, one stunts, nice. Uh, goodbye again. Completion of 100% says that. Com the completion is actually over all of your files as a whole, like, uh, completing both karmas, uh, in addition to getting all the upgrades, things like that. On districts is, uh, actually, how many areas you've cleared out with side missions. I have 20 to 32 last time. I think I have 22 now. So let's see how we fare. Twenty-nine Alden in Chains. And only twenty-one dead drops. So a lot more. Uh, almost half of the districts, which is nice. Okay, so I will be saying my goodbyes. Well, goodbye. Uh, see you next week. Monday. Yes, Monday. Uh, when you see this, or when it goes up, I will be recording that night, actually. So, uh, content is in preparation. Alright, so, see you guys. Goodbye, whatever. Don't have much more to say. Lunar Rising, out.